Welcome back, crew. This is Zach Attack 1, and we're continuing our coverage of the Tennessee Knockout. The previous parts consisted of the first round where Mike, Andy, Adam, and I qualified. And now we're in the second round. Based on our results in the first round is how we start here in the second. And we start every 15 seconds individually. So Mike will be the 18th guy going off. Andy will be the 64th guy, and so on. So here comes Mike off the start. It's a short version of the first round, about 14 miles long. Additional hard sections have been added, and we have an hour and 45 minutes to finish it, and the top 30 riders will qualify into the Sunday events with the pros. We're off, let's go! so far is the first round, though it's a little more ripped up. I noticed as I come through here. Oh, and that was much deeper than before. Right off the bat, I'm being stupid. What am I doing? I've been through this section in the first round. I'm coming in here like a bat out of hell, not even thinking or paying attention. Oh, it's frustrating to watch, because I've already done this. I, I knew this was here. And I'm just coming in too excited. I don't know what happened here, but it's a mistake that should not have happened. Now my rhythm's all screwed up, if there was any rhythm to begin with. This is not how I wanted to start it off. I already got to ditch the goggles, and I notice it's a thousand times slipperier than the first round. After 250 bikes come through here, things have gotten much more slippery. I'm working way too hard, and I'm already exhausted, not even a mile in. up through that hill. Now it's my turn on it. Let's see how it goes. Minor hiccup, but I keep it moving. We move on a little ways, and now we come to that same hillside that caused a lot of misery in the first round. Now I'm at it, and I'm like, oh boy. 
I'm scanning, looking for a line, and I come up with this, which does not look good at all. And to get a great run at it, I decide to lay the bike down. <laughs> what I was picturing in my head, you know, coming right through, shoot right up, crawl up through there, did not happen. I'm pathetically trying to move up this hill. Like I'm not even, I'm not even gassing it. I, but I, I know it's in my head that I'm like, there's just no way. There's just no way I can muster up the energy and the power and the balance to get up through this. I don't think I can start from here and get up to the top. There's just rock all in front of me. I'm too short. That is the problem. With that, I have to work with it. I, I what am, I'm not going to grow longer legs right now, so I, I decide to go this direction. And my thought is, all right, I'll do a diagonal and get up some of it, then figure out from there where to go. I'm sitting here at this point in time in the race. It's hot. The sun is out. It's as humid as a sauna. I've got the summer cold. I'm sick. Dehydrated. Exhausted from the first round. And I'm looking around at the piles of rock. Nothing is going in my favor. And there's dozens of riders stuck everywhere. And I'm having doubts whether I can even finish this. I'm so exhausted. I'm fatigued. I can't think clearly. And I'm just having the hardest time. But I love it, because this is the race I've always dreamed of. I've always wanted a race that challenges you not about being the fastest, that's part of it, but finishing. So low. The perseverance, the mental strength to Stay in it and to keep going, along with the physical endurance required to go through this extreme terrain, is always what I wanted in a race. And extreme enduros, I think, are my calling. This is what I want to do. I suck at it. I gotta get better at this, but this is something new to me that I definitely want to do more of. I'm loving this. As I'm down deep into the woods, hardly thinking straight as I try to fit between these two trees. What am I doing? And I'm in absolute misery. Don't think that I was loving it at this moment. I was hating myself. I was so exhausted. I'm cramping up. And this fella here, pretty much the only guy out there helping people up this section. The brutal heat, man, thank you so much for helping. Hold on, let me... I get on it here. I can't get my leg over the bike. I, I'm so tired, and this guy's here helping, so I just gotta go. Oh, it was brutal. Thank you.
And now I am so tired. I'm as tired as a koala. Koalas sleep 22 hours a day. That's how tired I was. Now I'm at this valley section again. That's a good line. All right. That's that's a good line if you get over there. Once you get to go around that tree, yeah, like he's doing, there's traction all the way. I see. Or you can jump up the rocks. If you yeah, I did that earlier, but I don't know if I can, well, I mean, I can do that now. Still, it's still a good line. Okay. But you can, you know, you can switch back around that tree. Oh, thanks. Sweet. Yeah, this race is kicking my butt. Is it? No, Tom, Tom, I want him to. I think he'd love this. He, I think it'd be awesome just, just to hear him commentate. Oh, it just, time while he's riding, it would be, yeah. Oh. I can imagine what y'all would have to say. Yeah, but I'm, next year I'm bringing Tom down. I'm going to tell him he's got to do it. These guys were great. Caught up with some fans out there. And you hear that, Tom? You're coming next year. We're bringing you. Right in the middle? They go right in the middle? Right near the V-crack. Okay. So I hung out there probably a little too long but I got an opinion from 30 different people how to go up this. And it was a piece of cake. I didn't have any issue. Same line I took in the first round. I probably should have just kept going, but I was so exhausted. This way? It was probably a good idea to, to catch my breath for a second. So I, it's, uh, at this point, I'm going up the hills and stuff, and I'm thinking, oh, you know what's coming? That massive rock section. Again, the one from the first round that got me. We're going to go right through it again. Here we go. People down everywhere. I'm just thinking, how am I gonna do this? What is my strategy? All right, let's go. Wow! It is so slippery, look at that rock, it is it is ice! Um, oh, it's worse than before! Look at the rocks, they're all uncovered now. Oh boy. So I start easing her in, and my strategy is to use extreme caution and put my feet on the taller rocks and use leverage to kind of lift the front end up, put power to the rear tire, and roll through this stuff. All right, we're moving. Let's keep going. My strategy is working. I mean, it's not the fastest way. I, I will admit I'm not moving very quickly, but I'm not straining myself too bad.
Oh, please. Oh. We're we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it, but we're not we're not making quick progress of it. Once you get moving, like you see if I could keep myself going, I would have no issue. It's just the the fatigue I was in, I, I just wasn't it wasn't in me to, to power through something like this. Oh please get me through this. Was just pumped that I made it through it. Now we're at the next section of challenge. I, I went up this way in the earlier race, so now I'm gonna try it again since I'm familiar with this. There are lines going up even further, so I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should go all the way up there. I'm gonna go the way I went in round one because I know that route. Uh-oh. And now the bike's overheating. As if I wasn't hot enough, now I've got 200 degree coolant steam in my face. I don't really want to run the bike, but I have to keep moving. I got to get myself into some open sections to cool the bike down and myself. struggle. I, I, I think you get the idea. You get the idea of what was going on here. It was a struggle. Wow, that worked out great for me. Things, things just weren't working at all. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to take the easy line. Oh. Now we have this hill and there's more rocks exposed. A radiator fan will be definitely considered for next time. Just trying to get out of the way for the other riders out here. I would have gone and helped this guy, but I couldn't help myself. I was trying to pour water from my camelback onto my radiators just to cool them a little bit, but then I, I get steam blasted, so that wasn't a good idea.
this was just not working. My exhaust pipe caught on the tree. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's just, it's just hard. It's just a bad situation out here right now. I don't think I've ever struggled so bad in a race before. And the one thing that disappoints me is I feel like I wasn't performing nearly as well as I could have been. I, I think this cold that I had was definitely limiting me and, th and that's what's kind of disappointing is I, I feel like I should have done much better. Then again, I need to work on this. Now I come down here and I see this group of people and I'm like, what's going on? Oh, Hold up. We, 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 got, we got 20 minutes exactly, 12 more miles. 12 more miles? Yep. Uh, if you, if, if you want to exit, totally up to you at this point. If you don't exit here, they're going to take you out at the next guy that's sitting okay. there. Okay. 12 more miles to go? In 20 minutes, I mean, I'd have to go 36 miles per hour on average the rest of the way to finish. But I'm not sure if those numbers were correct. I was, it was hard to believe I had 12 more miles to go. Oh, uh, but I'm disappointed. Double yellow ribbon, take a left. Take a left. He gave us an option to keep going, but I was like, uh... I think there was more time, but I I made the decision to pull off because it was sounding pretty good to be stopping. Yep. Thank you. But I'm disappointed and I regret stopping. I should have kept trying. Adam kept pushing. He got to the grass track section. If you remember from the first round, it was right at the end, but he didn't finish. It was okay, though, because he wasn't going to qualify anyway. I didn't make it. They pulled me off. They said I, I was, it was like, not going to make it, so. Well, he said I could have kept going, but like, they were going to pull me off. It was disappointing, but at the same time, I was kind of glad it was over. But Mike Cook ended up getting 19th and qualified into Sunday's pro events. He did the hot lap, and then he got most of the way through the first knockout in the Sunday events, but did not finish. And, man, what a race this was. Such a great time. I loved it. We're coming back next year with a vengeance. This was awesome. And the amount of people that came out to this event all over the world, it was really neat to see. I'm thinking next season, making a shift towards these type of races. Let me know what you guys think. And also check out, the video I did of the pro events, I ran around with the camera on Sunday filming. Check this out. It was really neat, and it's amazing what these guys rode through. It made these races look easy. But anyway, thank you, guys. We'll be back next year. See you later.